Rabbit, can you pass the potatoes? Welcome to this week's edition of WTHS News. I'm Abby Hastings. I'm Leola Grisham. And I'm Jasmine Mitchell. Today is November 18th. Here are this week's delicious stories. Leolis, did you go to the Synergy show? Yeah, it was so good. Now that they've wrapped up their home show, let's go see how they're preparing for competition. Um, the home show was pretty good. Uh, we worked really hard to prepare for that since August. So um, it was really fun just getting able to like dress up with everyone and get ready and do your hair. So yeah, it was fun. Our first home show, it was, it was really fun. I had a lot of fun on stage and it was difficult at first, but as, the se as we did our second show, it, was, it got really fun and I really enjoyed it. Um, our home show went really well. It was really exciting and fun to see all of our peers and classmates come out and support us. Home show was really fun. It was awesome to have uh, everyone, like the community, around to support us. And um, it was a good way to start our year and our performances. Um, the competitions that are coming up are Jackson, Oak Grove, um, which I'm pretty sure our first one's in February. But, um, and then after that, we go to Universal. Um, Jackson is coming up and also Startful and my favorite, we're going to Universal. And we're preparing for it because we practice every Tuesday and Thursday and we practice all the time. Um, our first competition is in February. As of right now, we're finishing our competition, learning all our music and all our dances. So right now I've just got to remember my notes and just keep on moving. <laughs> And uh, to prepare for it, we're practicing really hard Tuesdays and Thursdays after school and in TA and just trying to get down our choreography and clean and work on our vocals. Um, we're going to go to a competition in Oak Grove and a competition in um, Jackson this year. Um, to prepare, we're just going to practice, do the show for four months straight, just run it every day and practice really hard. Um, we have Mississippi State competition, we have Oak Grove competition, uh, and we have two fame competitions. One is the American uh, <laughs> Show Choir America and Nationals, and we're just practicing and practicing. Being a junior this year, it's fun because I'm finally an upperclassman in Show Choir, and um, I get to be like more of a role model and a leader to the freshmen and the sophomore. And um, it just, Miss Rare has just talked to the upperclassmen all this year about how like we really need to step up and just be more of a, a leader when it comes to the underclassmen. As a sophomore, I'm transitioning from being a freshman and um, kind of setting examples for all the freshmen and working hard and just contributing everything I have uh, to show choir to make us the best we can be. Now that it's finally cooling off, let's go to Lucy and Savannah for this week's forecast. Thanks girls, I'm Lucy Dexter. And I'm Savannah Kirksey, and this is your seven day forecast. Today we'll have a high of 77, but this weekend we'll have highs in the mid 50s and lows in the low 30s. Lucy, it's getting a little too cold here in Tupelo. Yeah, you're right. I think we should take a quick trip to the beach this Thanksgiving break. Much better. Back in Tupelo, we'll have a high of 59 and a low of 38 on Monday, with temperatures gradually rising throughout the week. On Wednesday, we'll have a 60% chance of rain, and then on Thursday, we'll have a high of 64. Perfect for a Thanksgiving dinner. Let's take a closer look at tonight's forecast. At 5 o'clock, it will be 72 degrees, and the theme for tonight's game is blue and gold, so make sure you go out and support your wave. At kickoff, the temperature will be 66 degrees, and at 9 o'clock, it will be 63 degrees, with a 55% chance of rain, so don't forget your rain jacket. Good luck and go wave. Bowling has always been one of the more successful sports here at THS. They have won multiple state championships. Let's go see how they're getting ready to strike up their season. The team practices every Tuesday and Thursday, and we have a match every few weeks. Uh, the team bowls Tuesdays and Thursdays every week, and sometimes on Fridays. Uh, normally, we start out with three normal 10-frame matches, and then we go on to what's called the Baker Round, where you have five specific bowlers and each of them bowl one frame in one whole game together and they normally try to do best three out of five. Bowling competition where we play three regular games and sometimes we play three Baker games but you add it up and then whoever gets the highest how many pins then that's who wins. Your average is three total games added all together and divided by three. Um, I hope to average 160, and my goal for a high is 200. Average uh, 211, 
but I hope to bowl 300 this year. My goal would probably be for the average, probably have 170 by the end of the season. I'm most excited about playing Harding County this year. Uh, they should be a very good competition. If we get to play them, I always enjoy bowling against Startville just because they're really good sports and we always have a good time against them. I really like the sense of family that we have because we're all good friends. There's a bunch of great people out here. I love bowling. I've been bowling ever since I was like four, so it's always been, I've always been bowling and it's just fun to me. Uh, my favorite part, probably just getting to see everybody that's on the team and being able to go down to the bowling alley and just have a good time. My mom used to bowl when she was younger, and she kind of pushed me into it. Coach Clayton inspired me to be on the bowling team, and I like bowling. It's fun to me. Hey, Jasmine, I love your sweater. Thanks. Fashion police let me pick it up. I wonder what other good fashion tips Josh and Kel have. Approaching to giving your best, and you've got to reach your prime. That's when you need to put your clothes to the test and show us how we can shine. It's Thanksgiving. We'd like to give thanks. And you know what I'm thankful for, Josh? Our haters. Because haters are our motivators. So keep on hating, you little nasties. And since all your crusties want to say we don't have any fashion sense, just look at us. I mean, we're the fashion police. Have it's you, iconic. Have you seen the way we dress? It's legendary. Aesthetic. I can go on. And you can say what you want, but we're going to give you a great American rundown of fashion history. Now let's zoom in on the pilgrims. Girl, I'm not trying to be petty, but that petticoat needs to go. And that ruff around your neck is named appropriately. Sweet girl, I thought chokers were big now. And what is up with that number five on your hairline? Let's skip all that irrelevant fashion and go straight to the 80s. Okay, so number one, why do you look like a tangerine? And number two, what is up with the parrot? Like that is such pirate fashion. I don't even know what this is. Denim on denim is a fashion no-no. Girl, thou shalt spend some money on new clothes. And since when is it couple goals to dress up as snack food? I mean, come on. It's not flaming hot. Now let's move on to the fashion queen herself, Lady Gaga. Now let's go to our fellow fashion expert, Brandon, to hear his two cents on this outfit. Brandon? Thanks for your help. What's up, y'all? You see, the outfit look like it costs two cents. I'm on you. You see, at least I'm glad I'm glad you're not in front of green screen because, you know, that's none of my business. <laughs> Girl, I don't know what you're wearing, but you look like a centerpiece to my Thanksgiving feast. I can't even tell if you're a bird's nest or if that is a lion's mane. Thanks to all you haters for watching this episode. So next time you think you want to talk about us and hate, remember, we know what we're talking about. And remember, give thanks to your fashion police. Fashion police out. Thanks for tuning in to this week's edition of WTHS News. We hope you all have a great Thanksgiving. Now if you'll excuse us, we're going to get back to feasting.